I, I remember clearly we won the NIT and came in came into here and this place was packed cheering on that team. It was awesome. And uh, that's really what draw me back here too, to have that feeling again. Yeah, his college coaching career started at 11th and Harvard as a student assistant more than 20 years ago. Eric Conkel back in the Reynolds Center today, this time I told the young captain young of the young ship. Young. And welcome into sports, everybody. As Rick Dixon pointed out today, in the last 42 seasons, TU Hoops has had 10 head coaches, and every last one of them left the school with a winning record. TU is not the mid-major powerhouse it was when Conkel started his coaching career. But as Christy Maria tells us, he certainly believes it can be again. Well, it was right here just about a year ago when Angie Nelp was introduced as the TU women's head coach that begun a revitalization in that program that the men now hope to recreate. This is the first day of TU men's basketball getting better. It starts now. TU fans packing the Reynolds Center for an announcement they hope will be the answer for Tulsa basketball. And with that hope came a vision. Nolan Richardson, Tubby Smith, Bill Self. These men are on the Mount Rushmore of TU men's basketball. But as all of you know, Mount Rushmore has four faces. And today we have an empty slot for our new coach, who I feel very confident will someday join those great basketball coaches in the history and lore of the University of Tulsa. That new coach, Eric Conkle, with expectations of filling up the Raptors. It's a goal he's reaching for himself. Our goal is to challenge consistency for championships get to the NCAA tournament in advance. That's the things that we talk about, getting better every day and doing that. In his introduction, Conkle addressed the question, why Tulsa? Besides the pedigree, it's where he got his start 21 years ago. Conkle hoping to recreate the atmosphere he came to love. I left here with an invaluable experience of seeing a university a group of special players and a community all intertwined and aligned to create something special. And that's what we're here to do again. At the Reynolds Center, Chris DiMaria, 2 News Oklahoma Sports.